We're glad to know you're still there. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And now we're on to our second hot topic. And this is securing your vehicle by knowing your car documentation needs. Our guest for this segment of the program is Timileni Songo, Electronic Security and Automation Specialist. Timmy, good morning and welcome to the program. Okay, good morning. Good, good morning, good morning. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, walk us through this. Uh, the topic is securing vehicle, your vehicle by knowing your car documentation needs. Let's just have um, a, an intro to what we'll be talking about. Okay, so um, there has been an increased rise in um, carjacking and car thefts recently. I don't know if you've noticed it. Based on, I mean, most of my reviews and based on um, our Instagram, our Instagram um, page, we've been getting so much requests of people that, and um, a lot of people are not aware about the new documentation um, from the Nigerian police that is called the ECMR. The ECMR document is like. Um, an electronic version of the um of the cmr that used to be issued um before now and um one of those things one of the major reasons why the police is one of the reasons why as a citizen i'm actually excited about um this initiative is because um this particular documentation is going to really really help us curb a lot of car theft because this is what happens when vehicles are being stolen when vehicles are being stolen they are sometimes is a two-way thing. Sometimes the car has always been dismantled, but a lot of times when it's a new vehicle, sometimes it's not dismantled. They just take it out of, they take it out of town and take it maybe from Lagos to Abuja, then re-register that vehicle again. I don't know how they do it, but they delete it from the chat. They delete the number, the details from um, the, the VIN number, and they re-register the vehicle again. So now with the new ECMR document, you cannot register a car more than twice, and once. I, and once a car is being, once you have an EC, once you are registered on the ECMR portal, you can flag your car stolen. And once it's flagged as stolen, even if it's in 10 years' time that someone will try to re register a vehicle with that same VIN number, an alert will be called to the Nigerian police and it's going to, you know, an alert will be sent to the, to signal the Nigerian police. And, you know, from there, you can, you can, you get arrested for it. So, I mean, I think this is a very good news and it's one of those things that we should, as a security expert, I think it's, and it's, it's, it's a welcome innovation that we really need to see more of. Okay, this new document that you're talking about, you said it's a, a, an electronic version of another one that is not electronic. Now, if you get this, do you still need to have the other one or one replaces the other? Okay, so um, um, what the CMR is one of, is one of the most important, is like what we call the police documents. One of the very important part of um, our our vehicle documentation. So now, before now, what used to happen was that the a police officer would just write, they'll just write that paper for you, they'll just write it, and you know that is all. But right now, the police now has a database for it. They now have a portal for it. So on this portal now, on this portal now, it links your vehicle, it links the your vehicle license with your NIN. It links it with your NIN. So the NIN has to match the name on that vehicle when you are registering it. So with this, you don't need, the old one is no longer in use and the new one is going to, I mean, the new one has, even the, the PRO announced a few days ago that also, um, even the issuers of tinted permits is back. I I, um, I did a publication um, months back about how the tinted permits was not um, in use anymore. But right now, tinted permits is back. And from the 29th, from the 29th of this month, um, it, it you you will start being able to apply for the CMR, the tint permit, even on that CMR portal. So this is actually a step towards digitalizing the police force. And I don't see a lot of people talking about this, and that's why I'm here to talk about it. Okay. What if, what if, if the vehicle, you know, changes ownership? What happens? Because that uh, document is linked to your NIN. Okay, so when the... You know that normally... Um, what happens also when you have a change of ownership is that you have to go through a series of processes to be able to get your um, change of ownership process done. And once the change of ownership process is done, then you change. Then you have to you have to you have to change the plate number. You have to change the plate number. The same thing is going to now happen, but this time around, it's going to be automated. 
all those things happen now on the portal. It happens on the on the ECMR portal. I mean, this portal is ecmris.mpf.gov.ng. On that portal, once you sell the vehicle, you apply for the change of ownership on it, and you request for the new NIN of the person that is buying the plate number. Once that has been effected, then you can now proceed to pick another plate number, then the ECMR changes. That's interesting. But, you know, you, you did say something in your opening that there's been a rise in carjacking. Now, a lot of people will be concerned how to curb this carjacking. It's not just to have the, the document, because you said that uh, one of the things they do is when they steal your car, they could also dismantle it, not just to sell it. They could dismantle it and maybe be selling the parts and bits and all that. Well, we don't know how that is. But how do we curb these carjacking that is, according to you, on the rise? Okay, so, uh, I mean, it's, it's actually a state of emergency because a lot of, a lot, a lot of complaints are about this carjacking. Kind of um, one of the major things, one of the main things that we've stopped using, that right now, because of the situation, especially when you live in an high-risk environment, is that you need to get an alarm system. One, you have to have a car tracker on your vehicle, and two, you have to have an anti-jacking system. This is the usual alarm system that wants a touch sensor. When you touch your vehicle, once you touch the body of your vehicle, the vehicle triggers an alarm. And this, as simple as it is, as simple as it is, it can actually, it can actually scare someone that wants to, that's trying to jack your vehicle. Because the way they do this thing is very scary. By the time you wake up the next morning, your headset is gone, your your media, old media system is gone, your winder is gone, your most most of the most important things in the vehicle is gone. So with this, um, but when you have an alarm system, you can. Uh, aside from that, also there is also, but there is also an option of you fortifying your car glass. When you fortify your car glass, it means that it's like using a screen protector for your glass. I know a lot. Of, I have a lot of testimonials about that also, or people that you know they try to hit their glass. Normally, your glass when you hit the glass of a vehicle, it shatters immediately. But when you have when you have your glass protected, it takes a longer time. It could take as much as twenty hits, and you know that. By the time they are doing this and they are trying to hit your glass and the final that is not good, they move on to the next vehicle. But we need to be more aware about this. We should not be a victim before we start to, you know, complain about it. We need to, and aside from all these security gadgets we are talking about also, you need to be very careful about where you are parking your vehicles. Stop parking your vehicle in the dark spot. Ensure you park your vehicle at a place where you are sure that um, there is um, physical contact. You cannot just park your car. This is not the period where you should just park your car at the roadside. So you are seeing your vehicle and you are seeing mobility. Some people are seeing your vehicle and they are seeing funds, they are seeing money, you know. So um, all this needs to be put into consideration in um, securing, ensuring that your car is very secure. Because the, the period we are in now, things are getting very expensive. And um, we, 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 we need to ensure that um, we, we take care of lives and uh, we take care of our properties and ensure that, you know, as much as possible, we um, we would rather take care of them than talking about buying a new one. Okay, but when you talk about securing your glass, it sounds as if you want to change it to bulletproof or something. What do you really mean? What do you need to do to secure your glass? Okay, so um, it's called um, a um, glass fortification. And for you to fortify your car glass, you need a ballistic film. It's just um, it's installed the same way it thinks it's installed on your car glass. And um, it's installed the same way it thinks it's installed on your car glass from the inside. Then it makes it stronger. It gives it like an extra ballistic layer from the inside of the glass. So once this is installed, as the more the sun hits it, the stronger it gets, which creates an extra layer for the glass from inside. So when you hit it, once it's being hit from outside, and this has also saved a lot of people from traffic robbery. It has also saved up because traffic probably what they do is that they find they have a material or something that they use on your glass. Once they use it, your glass shatters immediately. But when you have a ballistic film installed on your glass, you can actually prevent this from happening to you. You know, and this is um, it's also something that is being it's it's it, it's called um, it, it, it's called it's called fortifying your car glass. And I mean, a lot of people are actually getting this to actually protect you from um, to protect their vehicles from. From from carjacking and traffic robbery, and, and traffic robbery.
how available are these things that you're talking about? You know, to fortify your glass, to, to put a lamb system and all that. How, how available are they? So, yeah, they're available. They are, they are available. Um, the first thing is that awareness is what is most important. And you know that because some of these innovations are new, and um, the best way to actually sell them is always through um, displaying it. Displaying it is always the best way to sell them. So, I mean, the best... Um, um, a lot of them are being sold on different platforms. They are being sold on different platforms, but it is the people that know about it, that know about this thing. But these are solutions that are peculiar to our environment. Mind you, the reason why glasses of vehicles don't come fortified from factory is because um, your glass is supposed to be like an emergency exit in case of an accident. But because of the peculiarity of our environment, they are these innovations, these innovations are being very important for us to actually use in Nigeria. But they are available. There are vendors that sell it. Um, there are vendors. There are vendors that sell it. There are lots of um, vendors that do displays of these things on Instagram and some other platforms there. Yeah, but what kind of vendors? Do you, what you said, or on Instagram, on social media, and all that. Um, but if you want to go to a physical store, there are special people that sell special things. Do you just go to a, a shop of spare parts to get it? Or what specialized shop can you go to to get this? Especially like the glass fortification that you're talking about. So, um, thank you so much. So, you see, this, is, this has to do with automobile security. Mm. And when it comes to automobile security, there are experts in this industry. There are a couple of them on Instagram. There are a couple of them on online. There are a couple of them online, and there are shops where they focus mainly on automobile security. When you visit stores like this, when you visit stores like this, they all have physical outlets. When you visit stores like this, they will. Um, once you visit stores like this, these are services that they offer, and that is why I don't want to mention businesses. Um, yeah, I, know. I don't want to mention names of businesses, but these are services that some people offer primarily: vehicles, um, glass fortification car tracking system, anti-jacking system, anti-jacking system, and um, lots of other other solutions like um, four monitoring systems and all. These are unique automobile security solutions, which are not, they are not like the usual parts, car, uh, car parts. These are, they are professional services that are handled by, and they are handled by professionals. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we needed to know. Uh, if we just walk into a spare part shop and demand for that or ask for that and all that. Uh, so it's good to know that there are specialized shops that you can look for and you get this. Yeah. The next thing a Nigerian yeah. will be thinking about is what about the cost? Are they affordable? Yes. Let's In not compare it with the loss. Let's not compare it with the loss of your vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell us how affordable they are because Nigerians will always, especially, okay, an example is when we had this cash crunch and you go to some businesses, they will insist on, on, on getting cash and you tell them, why not get a POS? And they'll tell you that my business is not big enough for a POS. And this is someone who has a shop and is selling a lot of things and they say their business is not big enough. They feel for you to have a POS machine, you need to have mm -hmm. a supermarket or something like that. So Nigerians are very draggy when it comes to uh, things like this. So how affordable are they? Because blood of Jesus, not my portion, is not costly. You just go on your knee or you pronounce it. That's what Nigerians use uh, when they should do yeah. something else. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of in terms of costs, let's not okay, not comparing with the um, cost of the vehicle, mm -hmm. but um, security is in different layers, and um, it depends on um, your what you can afford and what your um, what value you place on um, the value you place on security as a whole. But um, the values they are not expensive devices. They are not expensive. They are not expensive solutions. But they are in layers. They are in layers. The alarm system is the cheapest. Car tracking is another layer. Glass fortification is another layer. Bulletproof as the old. Having a bulletproof device on your vehicle is a lot. You know, if you want to do a bulletproof on your vehicle, you are talking about millions. You are talking about millions. But fortification is less than fortification is less than two hundred thousand naira. If we see fortification is less than two hundred thousand. Tracking system is less than hundred thousand. Alarm system is less than fifty thousand naira. These are things that these are investments that when you do on your vehicle, you are sure. You are shown of the longevity of your vehicle and um, 
you know, I'm not, I'm, um, you are sure of the longevity of a vehicle, and you are sure that you know you are you've um, you've created an extra layer of security while you move, while you, while, while you drive on the road, because it's very important for us to. It's very important when we move out of. Then another thing I really want to discuss about is I don't, I really don't know what I think. Um, it's getting to a time where we need to, we really need to talk more about this. I don't know what is happening in areas like um, um, Alakpale on that beach, Alakpale on that beach. That Alakpale in what K2 towards seven up. That place is a danger zone every night. Like this is an office. It is somewhere that if you are passing that place, seven thirty between seven thirty to eight o'clock every day, you have you are prone to getting robbed. And I've had a lot of complaints about that same spot, but nothing is being done about it. These are things that I also feel like um, with the the police also needs to cooperate with us more on things like this and ensure that you know. We don't, we don't, I mean, it's okay for us to say that um, there are some security risks that happen once in a while. But some places where, there are some places where we know that, and there's, there's like a police, there's like a police van that is always parked somewhere around there. But I still get every other day complaints of people complaining about security issues in that particular spot. In that particular spot. Those are things that also we need to actually, the government needs to look into it. The inspector, um, the, the, the commissioner of police needs to do something about Okay. needs to do something about that particular spot and i mean there are some other hot spots like that but this one is too glaring it is very very close to it's very very close to the ikeja sectariat is it's it's a it's a road that is plowed by a lot of negotiations every day but i see here uh, people are still coming on instagram to complain and cry about being robbed in that place Alakwara yes, on that um, bridge to us care to yes alakware inward um alakware inward seven up from okay. K2 through K2, that okay. express. All right. Uh, okay, I get that. Um, we have less than 30 seconds, uh, but let me just ask you this. The tracking device, very important. Some car owners, especially these people who buy cars and put on the road, put drivers uh, to take care of the cars and make returns, some of them don't even have an Android phone. And if you have a tracker, how do you track without, without an Android phone? Is it possible to do that? You don't need an Android phone to track your vehicle. Okay. The first thing you need to do is ensure you have a tracking device. Secondly, you can track your device using a SIM card. Once you know the phone number, the phone number that is installed. So the way a tracker works is like, it's like a mini phone. It has a SIM card inside it. Okay. Once you know the phone number inside your tracker, once you know that phone number off and it has a password, you can send a text message to it with any mobile phone. You get... and. Who you install your tracker with also is very important. Sometimes, for some businesses, when you install trackers with some businesses, maybe like mine, what happens is that we you don't even need to know your phone number of hand. Once you have an incident, just leave them alone. Just call us immediately, and we're going to track your vehicle for you within within, within less than twenty four hours. In okay. Then, within, we'll stop your vehicle immediately. The car can stop. The car is going to stop. We'll stop your car immediately. So far, you can get access to us either okay. through our website, through our phone number. So. Tracking device, tracking does not need an Android phone for it to operate. Okay. You don't need an Android phone for it to operate. Something you can do via a text message. And if you All have right. a good partnership, you can always track your vehicle. All right, Timmy. Thank you so much for your time and your thoughts this morning. We'll do more about this security. Thank you for being a part of our program this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I was, All right. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. We've been talking with Timile Insamo, electronic security and automation specialist, talking about uh, knowing the right documents for your vehicle and also security for your vehicle. And this is where we wrap it up uh, on the show this morning. I would like to see you again tomorrow, Thursday. Until then, my name is Nyam Gul Agaji. Have a wonderful midweek.